have to be understand how to use it. As I was talking about that there are tools for static code analysis, uh, this slide actually tells you that how to do a dynamic code, code analysis. So dynamic code analysis is that uh, where so you have certain uh, code written and which your tools cannot cannot catch and this is something which you know a human intervention is required. So if a human intervention is required then also there are methods and tools available which can actually make your life easier. For example, the, this kind of cheat sheet which I have created here it is very useful because what I have tried to do here is that I have tried to uh, identify the different patterns of, uh, of a smelling code. Smelling code is basically code which is not written up to quality. Yeah. So that spelling code is actually divided into five different uh, buckets here. Uh, Obstituted abusers and uh, couplers, bloaters and dispensables. Uh, I'll take just one example. For example, if you are dealing with the bloaters, uh, suppose someone starts writing long methods, which is a cause of a problem because if you are writing too long methods, it is difficult to maintain, manage and test. Now, this actually shows that there is a way to solve it. Yeah, the way to solve is that if you are having a long method, you actually solve it by a process called extract method. And similarly, for all the 20 different patterns which you have identified, all these patterns are easily available on, on net and all. But just that, what you need to understand is that you have to think in this direction, and then you have to educate your people and educate your team to follow certain things like this. Okay. So we have talked about the quality coding framework and we discussed about the first element of that which is which is the code quality uh, which actually enables you to have a different tools or equipment to solve it. Uh, however, it doesn't tell you anyways how to use those things and this is where we actually start using it. On continuing our, continuing our example of the way we from uh, the, the kid who wants to become a cricketer uh, Sanjay, he actually now he has enrolled to academy. He has he has now tools like uh, bat, ball, and all those things. But now he has to start learning things, right? So he starts practicing, and the thing which actually he does is that uh, now he needs to have a continuous feedback about how he is practicing and how he is improving. This is manual in this case because someone has to tell him that okay, you are you know you are playing the shot well or not well or something. In our software software world, we also need something similar wherein we have to have a continuous feedback mechanism. Whatever we are writing, we should have a definite feedback about what, what exactly is going through and then what exactly it means. This actually is, is uh, obtained and this actually is achieved by something called continuous delivery framework. This is uh, an amalgamation of things like continuous integration and also about build automation and deployment automation. So, uh, are you talking about this? So, if you see here, uh, this actually introduces you to the concept of continuous delivery framework or the continuous integration framework. And there are certain things which should be done here. In terms of code life cycle, where you are right now is that you have, uh, you know, you have started writing code and whenever a developer starts something, or he actually commits something, then he should get a feedback whether you know that code is in what state, right? So a framework like this will help you to set up your project or set up your solution or set up your infrastructure for writing code. Then it will help you to enable and uh, for continuous integration, which you know enables you to have a you know feedback for your builds, feedback for your integration, feedback for your uh, integration cycle. Uh, you can enforce coding standards which you have tried to gather from the quality coding aspect and then you know you can enforce whatever you define or whatever you have you know got from market. Uh, then you move to the integrated quality uh, enforcement uh, area wherein what you can do is that you can check your unit testing coverage, your integration testing and uh, sniff testing coverage areas. Fifth thing if you see here is about quality metrics. And what actually this means is that you know you can uh, you can have a dashboard which can tell you and show you that what exactly you know uh, is the you know level of your code which is you know which has any violations what are the different issues 
So in, in these tools like Sonar, uh, Squale, uh, FXCOG and all those things, tools are useful. And lastly, if you are able to deliver or, or write good code, then the other aspect is that the delivery should be seamless and the delivery of code should be you know, easy and prompt. So for that, uh, there are products and there are you know, features available which can help you to uh, you know, quickly uh, get those things. Yeah. So overall, if you see here, uh, how actually this fits in into, into the whole perspective is that you have tried to gather the equipments uh, under the quality coding uh, umbrella, then you have tried to have a continuous integration or the feedback mechanism by using this uh, CDR framework. Uh, certain tools like uh, frameworks like uh, TeamCity, uh, Hudson, Jenkins, these are all are available. Uh, you know, which can be used for these purposes. Uh, in terms of benefit, if you see, it actually uh, you know there are several, and I have just tried to list few of them. You know, it actually helps you uh, to reduce your initial setup effort for the solution of the project, which you have uh, which you have to do. It uh, enforces very important thing: enforcing quality standards. And in general, this actually has a it encourages a more predictable code quality. So here, uh, what 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 I'm trying to do here is that uh, I, I will try to show you uh, an example 